Hi everybody. I'm uh, making a little diorama to display my Oak Hill, Ohio depots, at least until I start on my layout and have somewhere to put them. I'm um, not quite finished with the freight depot yet. I'm actually still working on the railings for the steps. Um, besides that, I'm pretty much done with both of them. Not completely happy. Uh, and I'll when I show the close-ups, I'll try to uh, point out why I'm not completely happy. Anyhow, I paid a visit to the Oak Hill, Ohio this past week. Uh, not much left there. This uh, mainline track is still there. Siding's gone, or at least it's completely buried by grass now, if it is still there. Uh, but I'm going to try to replicate it like it was in about 1980. And I'll throw in a couple of prototype photos here so you can see what I'm talking about uh, when I get there. First thing, I already had this piece of plywood. Uh, I already cut that size. I thought, well, that'd be about the right size for a little diorama. Um, so I had a couple pieces of flex track. On the left, the main line was that's actually Pico Code 55. And this is Microengineering Code 55. Since it was the siding, I actually glued it directly to the plywood. But I shimmed the Pico track up with a piece of uh, styrene, the length of it. Um, so you can see it's just a little bit higher. Uh, I decided I would put uh, Main Street, the crossing right there, where it runs into Route 93. There's about enough room right here to park two cars from pictures. It looks like the distance between the two buildings is about 30 feet. I can't get that exactly, but that's the way it looks in photos and the way people remember it. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. I did glue down a concrete edge for the platform. That concrete edge is still there. And I'll show you a picture of that um, from my visit this past Tuesday. But besides that, it's completely gone where the two buildings were. Uh, it had a brick platform, so I'm going to simulate a brick platform uh, there, at least next to the rails uh, from Main Street, basically, to the edge of the freight house. So I thought I'd uh, start right now and sort of show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to shim up the brick platform a little bit. So I've got this piece of styrene cut. Now I'm not going to put that whole piece of styrene there. I'm going to put the buildings on, trace around it. Um, so, you know, it won't be exactly like that. Uh, when I get done with that, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's where I'm at as of Monday morning. I have the uh, platform glued down. Uh, I'm going to fill in this area right here by the depot. It was like a parking area for about two cars, just filled with gravel. It may actually have been brick underneath it. I can't tell, but I'm just going to fill it in with gravel, uh, cinders, and behind the buildings, same way. They also parked cars in between here sometimes. I do have a semaphore kit uh, ordered, uh, which I'll install next to the depot. Right now the buildings aren't uh, glued down, they're just sitting there. You see I've started finishing uh, Main Street. Uh, I use the Woodland Scenics paving system. Uh, don't use their blacktop though, I use the seafoam gray, which I used on my layout. I think it's a lot better color. Started weathering a little bit, but needs more work on that. Uh, today I'm going to try to get the ballast down on both tracks and some of the ground foam down. Not really planning on doing anything down here. You can see I just ended the tracks. Uh, anyhow, I mean, I'll put some ground foam and stuff to at least the end of the passing siding, but I'm not gonna do anything else. Uh, the real area was open down here anyhow. Uh, there was nothing there, just grass and weeds, and everything. So I'm not really gonna do anything there. So anyhow, uh, I'll keep you posted. That's what I'm doing. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, um, the platform, again, I wanted it to sort of show like where there's moss and uh, grass growing in between the bricks. So that's why I painted it green. Uh, and then I went over it, I wiped most of the green off so it was down in the crevices. And then I uh, dry brushed brick and dry brushed some gray here and there. Uh, it may still be a little bit too much green for my tastes, uh, so I may keep working on it a little bit. but. I wanted the look of really weathered old brick where moss and grass have grown in between the cracks. 
not very well maintained. Um, so, you know, you'll see uh, if I do anything else to it as I progress along. It's about uh, 5 o'clock Monday. And this is where I'm at. Uh, did a little bit more than I thought I was going to. Uh, worked out in the garage. Uh, we had a really nice weekend. Uh, today was hot, but still wasn't too bad with the fan on. And we had a yard sale Saturday, so I needed to help my wife with the yard sale uh, while I was working on this uh, behind the scenes. So I got the uh, both tracks ballasted, and you can see that the siding is pretty overgrown. I'll put some uh, pictures on here of the way the real one looked. Um, again, that's as far as I'm going to go. Just put the engine and car on there for effect. Um, the uh, platform came out really well. I'll zoom down in on it for you. So what I did was I spray painted it a rusty brown, you know, rusty primer, just what you can get. And then I painted it with a dark green brush paint and I wiped it all off while it was still wet. So it was, turned out a little bit too green for me, uh, but I kept dry brushing brick and gray over it. And I think it turned out pretty well. I uh, really like the effect. It looks like uh, how you see bricks that have moss growing in between them and weeds. Uh, turned out pretty well. As I move around here, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I keep saying I'm not completely satisfied with the buildings. So if you look at the freight house, you'll notice that the battens um, don't all line up because the kit that I chose, the battens don't go all the way to the ground. So I had to splice. And even though weathered and all that, and if you don't notice it from a couple feet away, but when you get up close in pictures, you can notice it. Uh, on the end down here, um, see if I can get in here. Uh, so I'm gonna scratch build these. I went ahead and glued them down because they're the exact dimensions uh, of the buildings that I'll scratch build. And so I can just pop them up and uh, put the better ones down but that's not going to be a real high priority um, I'll do it eventually so you can tell I'm outside on my garden railroad so you can got some natural light going um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out there's two details I really need uh, there was a semaphore which you'll see in the prototype picture um, coming out of the depot and I've got that ordered uh, I'll put that up and also next to the freight house by the door there was a line pole with a wooden pole bracing it there sort of formed like an upside down V or something like that whatever you want to say it and that's a very distinctive thing which you'll see in the photos that I include uh, so I have to do those probably put a railroad crossing sign on Main Street weather it a little bit more but this area over here was all open there were no buildings nothing there uh, on beyond the freight house nothing there uh, Route 93 ran right behind the, the buildings, so there's not a whole lot, no other buildings I really need to add. Now, I'll just add a few more details, but I just did it it's somewhere safe to display my depots and sort of a fun project for the weekend. Uh, so, like I said, I'll put some uh, prototype photos on here at the end so you can see what I've been trying to duplicate. And uh, have any questions or comments, please uh, let me know. Also, I've been trying to talk louder. <laughs> So please let me know if it's worked. I'm trying to stay closer to the camera and I'm trying to really use a, a louder voice as much as I can. Um, so I am listening to your comments and trying to do better. So hope everybody had a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. It's Saturday afternoon and I've been working pretty hard. Got some of the details done. Um, you see I've got the power pole done with the uh, brace on it, which is very unique. Uh, have a, if I can get into it, there's a fuel oil uh, drum there, it's all rusty. Um, put that in, but the main thing I've been doing is the semaphore. Um, there's a kit for this, but the kit only is for a semaphore with one arm. So I've been working pretty daggone hard uh, to try to get uh, it to have two arms. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, happy with that. 
Uh, it's probably one of the harder things I've done. Um, besides that, I sort of put a railroad crossing sign in on this side. I have to get some more. Um, cross bucks, and I weathered the road a little bit more. Um, but uh, anyhow, <laughs> I said before, I really kicked my butt. I'm really happy with it, but it kicked my butt. Um, so I'll post the video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. Again, this is for my next layout. Uh, my next week's video, I'm, I'm working on Union Spring, trying to make it look a little bit more uh, prototypical. Uh, it's coming along nicely, uh, but I'll post that next weekend, I think. So everybody stay safe. And I'll put some uh, photos, prototype photos and still photos to sort of match them uh, after this is over. I know you want me to talk louder, but uh, I, I'm afraid I'm going to disturb the sleeping cat in the background if I talk too loud. Uh, we have plenty of cats around here. <laughs> uh, I wanted to I'll show you my Cedar Heights Clay Company car. I had some custom decals made by Circus City Decals. Came out really well, really well. Uh, Cedar Heights Clay uh, had a fleet of about, I don't know, 12 or 15 of these things, two bay hoppers, um, ship clay in them. And uh, the company's still in business, but they don't have rail service anymore. So I'm going to model some of the hoppers. And again, I'll, I'll put a prototype photo right after this so you'll be able to, to sort of see what it looks like. Here's the builder's photo of the real car. The dt and I car shops painted it. And now there's just a few uh, random photos of the depot. Sometimes it looks more yellow in pictures than, than other times. I don't know if it's the film developing. They had a steam special from the Hocking Valley Scenic Railway one time. I tried to duplicate this picture, sort of. <laughs> and this is what's left now. So, thanks for watching, everybody.